Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book, Playful Parenting, an exciting new approach to raising children that will help you nurture close connections, solve behavior problems, and encourage confidence, written by Lawrence J. Cohen. Let's imagine a scene, where you take your daughter to a playground on a beautiful sunny afternoon. While playing on the slide, your daughter is almost slammed on the head by a boy who is impatiently sliding down after her. A few minutes earlier the same boy had caused another child to cry. The boy's mother rushes over and hits him in the arm, aggressively scolding him, I told you never to do that again, why don't you ever listen to me? Now stop playing and let's go home. She then tugs and drags the boy away while he cries. The mother is evidently frustrated by the child's action, but her method of educating and correcting the boy is counterproductive. Now imagine a different scenario where a boy pushes a little girl off the slide. When his mother comes over, she doesn't yell at the boy, rather she apologizes to the girl and her mother. She then grabs a toy and tells her son, hey, why don't we play a game? Let's go down the slide. Hearing that his mother wants to play a game with him, the boy gets very excited and quickly goes up the stairs of the slide. Go quickly, go quick. The mother says and proceeds to push him with the toy she was holding. The mother pushes him a bit too hard and makes him slide down fast and fall on the foam board carpeted at the bottom of the slide, the boy then gets very upset. Noticing this, his mother walks up to him and says, look, isn't it dangerous to get pushed like this? When you push other children just like I pushed you, they will also be very upset, won't they? The boy then nods in agreement. What do you think will happen afterwards? From now on, the boy will most likely wait until the other children have reached the bottom of the slide before sliding down after. Looking at the previously mentioned scenario, it is easy to tell how wise the second mother was. By using the playful parenting method, she was able to solve the behavior problem of her child without damaging her parent-child relationship, enabling her child to grow up in an healthily and happy atmosphere. The method of playful parenting is quite self-explanatory, but its meaning suggests that it involves more than the normal concept of the word play, it's not just about doing sing-alongs or having game nights. It involves doing anything that will help your child grow in a fun and happy way. From having pillow fights to shopping mall trips, from comforting your crying children until they laugh, to fondly repairing bicycles together, discussing TV watching rules, or happily preparing for school, playful parenting can always come in handy. The author of this book, Dr. Lawrence J. Cohen, is a master of playful parenting skills. He specializes in conducting children's play, play therapy, and parenting. In clinical practice, he has dealt with many problems involving children, family, marriage, and abuse. In order to promote his experiences, Cohen runs workshops on the theory and practice of playful parenting for parents, teachers, and early education professionals all year round. Cohen has also published two books on playful parenting based on his professional experience and case studies. This book is one of them. In this book, Cohen explains the importance of playful parenting, reveals the obstacles and difficulties encountered by this concept, and tells us how to accompany our children to play together, in order to achieve the desired results. Next, we will explain this book for you in three parts. Part 1 – The Profound and Complex Meaning of Playing Part 2 – obstacles and difficulties encountered when playing games. Part 3, how to break through barriers and gain benefits from playing. Part 1, the profound and complex meaning of playing. In a child's world, everything is new and interesting. A two-year-old child can throw the same toy against the floor a hundred times and each time will be as fun and interesting as the previous one. Although he doesn't know what gravity is, the sound of the toy hitting the floor and the way the toy just lies there is fascinating to him. This simple toy throwing game can be a way for children to learn. It's not just toys, but all sorts of situations that happen in the daily life of their families that arouse the interest of children. They will spontaneously and subconsciously play games that sharpen their brains. A good example is the pretend game where children get to experience in their imagination, such as what it means to be couples, doctors, nurses, and so forth. In addition to children spontaneously exploring games, Parents or guardians can also use games to teach children the qualities they need. One of Cohen's friends, Lori used the influence of playing games in order to achieve her goals with her child. Let's listen to how she did it. Lori would often play a game called the lava game with her son. They would pretend that there was hot lava 